Hi, this is Jeannie from Metal Dollhouse Rescue. Hey, I got two more boxes in the mail and I thought I'd show you what I got, share the, that stuff with you. I'm, as always, in my happy place here in my doll room that has become also my dollhouse room. All right, here's the first box I got. This came from, I believe it came from eBay. So let's take a look at it and see what it is. It's not a real big box. It's kind of hard to tell perspective. It's not real big. Let's see what's in it. Now I've got a couple of things I'm waiting for, so I think I know what this is, but let's take a look for sure. Oh, cool. All right. These are the um, reproduction planters for the Marks House. I'm not sure if they fit on all the Marks Houses or if it has to be the bigger Marks Mansion, but I'll be finding out. But these were made... Uh, on a 3D printer, they're exact reproductions on a 3D printer. They've got little hooks on them that you hook on the outside of your dollhouse. And it's got two holes in the top that you can put flowers in. Now, if you choose, you can make more holes there in the top so you can put more flowers in. Uh, or you can paint this. I might paint it white. And um, I don't know if I'll put more flowers in there or not. But I ordered two of these, and they're available on eBay. And very many thanks to Colin, who is in our... Facebook group who has gone to the trouble to figure out how to make these on a 3d printer something I know almost nothing about So I'm thrilled to get those. Thanks so much Colin I'm sure you've got other things going on in your life But you've taken the time to help us make these as well as pack them and ship them Okay, I got uh, one more box to show you and then uh, something I, I got one more thing to show you too This box is a little bigger and I got this. It's not huge a little bigger though I got this, honestly, I can't remember if I got it on eBay or um, Mercari or somewhere else. But maybe even Facebook Marketplace. I think it might have been Facebook Marketplace. But anyway, I've been waiting for this box because it is packed full, full, full of uh, furniture for dollhouses. So in the picture, some of it looked not like number one brand new quality. But still, a lovely variety, so I'm excited to get it. There's, I think there's going to be a lot of fun stuff in here. And I don't know if you guys want to see it all or not. There's a lot in here. Um, I can always tell when this stuff is packed by not one of our collectors. Uh, this is packed adequately. It had bubble wrap around the very outside of it. But uh, our collectors from our group are good about wrapping this stuff individually in order to ensure there's no damage. This stuff looks like it's okay, not broken. But I can tell it wasn't packed by one of our collectors. Nevertheless, I'm excited to get it. Let's just take a quick look. I'm sure you don't want to see it at all because there's lots and lots in here. When I get done, maybe I'll take a, a picture of it, spread it all out. But lots of little bedroom furniture. This one's got a little break on the end. There you can see it. A bed that's been colored on. A couple of little pieces that are in good condition. Another bed. That's an odd, I don't know, if that was like a bunk bed. I don't know. This is one of those, um, are they called, are they from Superior pieces? I, that piece always intrigued me. It's got the bed that fits up into the headboard. I think what intrigued me about it is when I was young, my sister and I each had a dollhouse, and hers had this kind of furniture, and mine did not. Uh, this one's got, it's been painted or colored. I think I don't think that's original there on the on the headboard, but still very cute. I might leave it just like that. A little cupboard with no drawers. This one has one drawer. Um, this might be one of the missing drawers. A little cabinet, a little bed with a chip on it, and a little I don't know part of another bed. Like I said, I could tell that some of this had some damage, but nevertheless, there are some really cute pieces in here, as I recall. So let's see what treasures might still be here. There's a lot left in the box. On this, I couldn't tell on the picture what the scale was, if it was dollhouse scale or Barbie size scale. And I think it probably is like 116 scale. At any rate, I'll use it that way. It's a little patio table and umbrella. This is interesting, huh? I wonder if that's original, original fence. I'll bet it is. I've never had original um, 
Mark's. I think Mark's made the cash. I've never had that before, so I don't know if it is or not. But this looks like another piece to it. It goes like that. I think that that's that gate, I think. Maybe not. We'll have to see if that's got a mark on it. Oh, this uh, is nice. I don't think it's original to a dollhouse. There's some other little pieces in here. Nothing particularly remarkable. Kind of cute. Oh, this is like a little outhouse, and it's supposed to be his and hers, but one door is gone. <laughs> it's still cute. I don't think that is original to uh, Mark's or T. Cone dollhouses, but it's really cute. And I'm kind of thinking about doing a, a farm on one of my houses, so that might end up there. There's another little patio table. Lots of little miscellaneous stuff that's not necessarily dollhouse related. There's a little, I don't know, plastic something or other. Not dollhouse looking. And the rest of the stuff in this particular bag, I don't think, oh gosh, this is cute though. There's a little doghouse. I don't know if that's original to Mark's dollhouses or not. It's really cute. The little dog will go in and out. He'll definitely have a home by one of my dollhouses. But whether or not, look at this. Whether or not he's actually original, I don't know. Look at there. You can push him in. Maybe one of you experienced people can tell me. Look, and then he'll come out. That is super cute. There's a little phone booth. This stuff, this bag looks honestly, looks kind of like uh, maybe railroad or other place, that type of stuff. So I'm not going to go through that. Nothing there I don't think will be of any big interest to you. But here's another bag. This came out of that same box. This has got beds and cribs, kind of inexpensive, perhaps not original to our dollhouses, perhaps they are. This one is marked Marks, and it's got its legs on it, so that's a nice little crib. You know, I love my nursery furniture. This is a cute little plastic crib. It's got a stencil on the end. It is missing its rockers on one side, but still, it's very cute. I've not seen one in black like that. And I'm trying to see if that side will go up and down. Hmm, I don't know if it will or not, but I'll look at it later and see. It doesn't seem to move, but that one side is lower than the other. Okay, what else? One more little, I don't know. I don't even think that's a crib. It might be, but it's cute. All right, we got more. There, it did look like, uh, if I remember right, I thought there were some things in here that looked like I really, really did want them and not just fun to have but a few things I really wanted. But I do want to tell you, this lot, here's another nice big bag, jam full, again, not real well packed, but it shows that where it came from, somebody that's not a, a, a true collector. Here's another piece of furniture that's been painted, but it looks really nice. That's that superior furniture too, am I correct on that? It's not marked, but it's that bigger furniture that came with the um, tea ranch. If I remember, a little red table, a sewing machine, which also might have been painted. I love the detail on this furniture where it's got the little molded ashtray. And I'm not sure what else. Tablets, maybe. Love the detail on that furniture. This is cute. Again, it's been painted, but it's got a lot of detail on it. Chairs. Nothing particularly remarkable, but still cute. I can see some lamps in here. Here's a little tiny sink. If I put it by my thumb, you can see it's quite small. Little bathroom sink. Again, painted. Miscellaneous stuff. There's a cute little red bathroom sink. A lampshade. A little painted stove. A little dresser. See what else in here that might be remarkable. A nice tub. Again, it's been painted, but it's in good shape. No breaks. Can't read the mark. I think it's a mark. Little dresser. This has not been painted. It's the original color. Hmm. Little laundry that's been painted, and now a little toilet. Both been painted. Pretty cute. 
another red sink. Boy, they like to paint their furniture. A little chair that's been painted and a little stool that's original color. This is interesting. This is a cute little sink. It's actually glass or porcelain, but it's the right scale. That's interesting, isn't it? See, it's, it's probably like a 118 scale. Hmm. A little washing machine. I think it's a washing machine. Love my little appliances. Let's see what else? A little stove, kind of modern-ish. A sink that's been painted. Oh, a refrigerator they painted black. But it's a nice shape. And, you know, I can try to remove the paint, or I can leave it, or I can repaint it. A couple other small items. Cute little couch, kind of an unusual style. You don't see that one very often. I don't see a brand on it, so it's perhaps an off-brand, but it's really cute. Kind of an old-fashioned style. Mm, I love this TV. It's actually been painted also. It's one of my favorite pieces, though. And, oh, a couple of more little, little tiny furnitures. Very small. I don't have a house that small yet, but you never know. This is cute. This is like little baby scales, and it's the right size for probably 124 or 116 or 118. I don't see a marker on it. Okay, so again, this little bag is kind of miscellaneous. There's a dining room table in there, which uh, I'm going to get it out and look at it because I was just kind of taking stock of my furniture tonight and I feel like I'm short some dining room tables. There's a cute one and it is missing a leg, but you know, we'll replace that. Not a problem. A little red table, perhaps a patio table, almost looks like one of those pizza tables, but I don't think it is. And a potty chair. Yay, nursery furniture. Okay, let's see if there's anything else left in this box. One more bag. Should be a little longer than that. This is again very similar quality. Cute little desk. It has been painted. It does have that molded detail on the top, which I, I am in love with. It's got little books, a little bunch of books there on the top of the table. Wow, a cute little desk, school desk. Another small round table. Oh, this is this is cute. The top of a hutch. I don't think I have one of those. Our little bookcase with tiny little molded details in it. I think that's really cute. Okay, I cannot I cannot say I'm unhappy with this cute little group. Uh, I did not pay very much for that. I was able to make an offer. They weren't asking for a lot. For it but I could tell there was um, not a lot of high quality stuff in there so I made a low offer and they accepted it so but I want to show you this I got this at Goodwill no I think it was Salvation Army one of those two and they are supposed to be little place card holders but and they've got little place cards right tucked on the back or if you had a dinner party but it, I do think they're the good a good size for my patio so I actually got um, four of these. There were two sets, two sets of two each. And I believe when I take that off, I was going to get a Ren wall person out to show you the scale. And I forgot to do that. But maybe later I'll take a picture of it with it. Yeah, see, I can take those cards off. And then what's left is just exactly a little uh, Adirondack chair. Did I say that right? And there's four of those. I think they'll be really cute on one of my patios. All right, I think that's it for tonight. So I'll take a picture of this with a little Renoir person so you can see if the scale looks about right. And eventually you'll find it on one of my patios. Talk to you later.